The world of Inside Out takes us into the inner workings of the human mind, with emotions guiding the formation of every memory. It shows us a complex relationship between emotions and memory. But how does this animated adventure compare to the reality of our own minds? Can emotions truly shape our memories, molding them in unexpected ways? Discovering the answer will help us unlock a deeper understanding of ourselves and our minds. Hey friends, I am Jesse Lake. And today we're embarking on an exciting adventure into the depths of our minds. In the world of Inside Out, memories are like glowing orbs, each colored with an emotional hue. It's a bit fantastical, but it reflects a powerful truth. Our emotions can shape our memories. But as we explore how our brains really make memories, compared to Inside Out, we'll discover something unexpected. The reality of our memories is far more intriguing and complex than we might realize. First, we need to understand how memories are formed in our brains. When we experience something new, a series of complex processes kick into gear, allowing our brains to encode, store, and retrieve that information. The process begins with sensory input, as information from our environment is received by specialized neurons in the sensory organs. These neurons transmit signals to the brain, where the information is processed by various regions, such as the hippocampus and amygdala. Next, the brain engages in encoding, where the incoming information is transformed into a format that can be stored in our memory banks. This process involves a strengthening of connections between neurons, known as synopsis, through the phenomenon called long-term potentiation. Once encoded, memories are stored in different regions of the brain, depending on the type of memory. Understanding the intricate process of how memories are formed in our brain provides us with valuable insight into how our minds work and how our experiences can shape who we are. As we learn more about the fascinating world of memories, we'll gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of the human brain and the role it plays in shaping our lives. But what role, if any, do emotions have on forming memories? In Inside Out, their involvement in forming memories is pivotal to the plot. But how do emotions contribute to the process of how our brains form memories in real life? As we've seen in Inside Out, emotions color memories and influence how they're stored and recalled. But how does this translate to the real world? Let's explore how emotions can strengthen the connection between neurons, shaping our memories in profound ways. When we experience something emotionally significant, whether it's joy, fear, or sadness, our brains release neurotransmitters such as dopamine, adrenaline, and cortisol. These neurotransmitters act as chemical messengers, signaling to the brain that the experience is important and should be remembered. As a result, the synopsises involved in processing the emotional experience become more active and responsive. This increased activity leads to a process known as synaptic plasticity, where the connections between neurons are strengthened. Essentially, the emotional intensity of an experience acts as a signal to the brain that this information is worth retaining. Think of it like this. When you're emotionally invested in the moment, your brain is on high alert, primed to absorb and retain every detail. This heightened state of awareness enhances the encoding and storage of memories associated with that experience, making them more vivid and long-lasting. So emotions serve as kind of a memory booster, strengthening the neural pathways associated with emotionally significant events. And helping us to remember them more efficiently. Understanding the connection between emotions and memories can provide us valuable insight into how we perceive and recall the world around us. But wait a minute, are emotions always beneficial when it comes to memory formation? While it's true that memories can enhance the encoding and retention of our memories, they can also introduce a twist that might surprise you. Remember Riley's hockey team from Inside Out? At first, the memory of them was a source of joy for her, but as she moved away and faced the challenges of a new environment, that once joyful memory took on a different color. Suddenly, 
The thought of her hockey team invoked feelings of sadness and longing, overshadowing the joy she once felt. This transformation of Riley's memory is a prime example of how emotions can alter a recollection of the past. What was once a happy memory now carries a tinge of sadness, colored by the emotions she has regarding her new circumstances. Have you ever experienced something similar in your own life? Perhaps a cherished memory that has changed over time, influenced by your emotions or current circumstances? It's an interesting phenomenon that challenges our assumptions about the reliability of our memories and highlights the powerful impact that emotions play on our recollections of the past. We've explored the intricate relationship between emotions and memory. And one thing has become clear. Our memories are not passive recorders of objective truth, but rather active interpreters that are influenced by our emotional experiences. The memories we hold dear, the stories we tell ourselves, they're all colored by the emotional lens through which we view the world. Emotions can enrich our experiences and make our memories more vivid, but they can also lead us astray. They have the power to distort our recollection of past events, shaping our perceptions in ways that we might not even notice. So it's not just about understanding how our brain works, but also about recognizing the limitations of our own perceptions. It's about questioning the stories we tell ourselves, digging deeper into the narratives we construct, and being mindful of how our emotions influence our understanding of reality. By embracing critical thinking and self-awareness, we can navigate the complexities of the human cognition with greater clarity and insight. We can strive to see the world not just how we want it to be, but how it truly is. As you go about your day, take some time to reflect on the stories you tell yourselves, the memories you hold dear, and ask yourself, how much of this is influenced by emotion? How much of it is truly based on objective reality? Being aware that our emotions can cause our memories to be unreliable offers us a valuable opportunity for introspection and critical thinking. By recognizing our memories can be colored by our emotional state, we gain a powerful tool for self-awareness and insight into understanding cognition in a deeper way. Thank you for joining me on this adventure into emotions and memory. I am Jesse Lake, and I hope this newfound awareness brings us to a better understanding of ourselves and the world.